Prince Harry and Meghan Markle relationship, is Harry really happier than ever? Prince Harry appears to be happy living his new life alongside his wife Meghan Markle in the United States. But is Harry really happier than ever in his new life, as the book Finding Freedom claims? Finding Freedom is a book written by journalists Carolyn Durand and Omid Scobie about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Although the book has no input from either Harry or Meghan, they approved its publishing. Prince Harry and Meghan left the royal family on March 31 after a decision to officially stand down from their roles as senior royals. In Finding Freedom author Omid Scobie told Vanity Fair that Prince Harry was thriving in his family and professional life. Mr. Scobie said, this is the moment he can sit back and think, I made it. He has found his happiness. Speaking about the Duke of Sussex's recent milestone, royal commentator Ingrid Stewart said, he can celebrate his birthday on a high. He's embracing his new life and everything is an adventure right now. He has moved on very quickly, and I do not think he misses his old life at all. M. Stewart said she was surprised by Harry's decision to exit the UK as he had always been especially fond of British life, but added, he doesn't do anything by halves. Although on the surface it may seem as though Harry is happier than ever in California, Energy Insights reader and body language expert Alison Ward disagrees. M. Ward says, based on recent pictures, I am so sad to say it is clear Harry is far from the happiest he has ever been. He looks sad and confused, his eyes have lost their Harry sparkle. Speaking about a recent Zoom call the Prince engaged in with the rugby league, Ems Ward said, he looks like he is somewhere else. Ems Ward added, Harry looks lost and grief-stricken. I have seen that smacked face look in many of my clients who have gone through grief and trauma. Friends of the Duke of Sussex have also spoken out, telling Vanity Fair Harry was struggling with the huge change in his life. It was claimed Harry was feeling rudderless and without structure in his new American life, a far cry from the regimented and scheduled life that comes with being a senior royal. One source said, he has lost a lot of friends in the military community in the UK and of course he misses them. This is a very strange time for us all. But I think Harry is missing having a structure to his life right now. He doesn't have friends in LA like Meghan and he does not even have a job. So at the moment he's a bit rudderless, but it will not always be like this, and he does know that. As part of his exit deal from Britain, Prince Harry had to give up a number of his treasured military titles, which according to Finding Freedom was one of the biggest blow for the Duke. Prince Harry can no longer use titles including Captain General of the Marines, Honorary Air Commandant, Commodore-in-Chief and Youth Ambassador after Megxit. Finding Freedom states, the most demoralizing aspect of the New Deal was his being stripped of his honorary military appointments that had been awarded to him as a senior royal. A source said, that's been a tough pill to swallow, and the one that has been most painful to Meghan to witness him go through. It's the one that has made Harry most emotional.